Hello, fellow agents, and here's why this is such an interesting escalation to do. Because this one only requires you to have Hitman 3, none of the other prior levels. You'll get the white outfit, the katana blade, right away in level 1. But we're going to do level 3, just as the title says. Because as though I've made a video on this, I felt it was also necessary to talk about the white Seeger 300. It's literally the exact same one subsonic which means it's very quiet on top of already being quiet which is suppressed marksman when you gently squeeze the r2 bullet time aka matrix slow move feature comes in and it's got the four times zoom so now that we've talked about that let's get right into the third level the first one is easy the second one is a little bit wacko uh, where you just kind of run around and use the sword to reset the timer. It's kind of like a play on the Frostmourne Hungers, and it's always looking for, you know, souls. So here you want to run right away when he's turned around. Run into this room. If you botch this, just wait for him to go by. There's no need, technically, to have to rush this. As you can see, you've got plenty of time there. And then as he walks away, simply run into here. He's already going to be running. You see him there running over there? Hide in the closet. Again, if you're too slow and he walks down, just wait until he turns around and walks back up. Use your R1 Hitman sense. Once he's about there, just go ahead and run. Same thing with her. See where that woman is? When she's there, you just want to run. Now, I want to talk to you about this real quick. I have to pause it. If that woman ends up walking around or you're too slow, just wait until she ends up going back to that exact corner where she just was. And every time she's there, the guy is going to be on the left. Okay? And when that happens, you can clearly see, you can just walk by, okay? So there you go for that. For this one here, I actually botched it the last time and I punched her because you actually can't knock out anybody, you can't touch anybody, you can't be seen. So make sure you equip the white katana. I tried rushing this right away and it just did not work well for me. So just wait for her to stand up. She's going to eventually come this way. She's going to turn around and have her back facing to you. Make sure you've got that sword equipped. Okay. And now you're done. Well, pick up the weapon that's on the ground. And what's really cool is I did not watch Mr. Freeze 2244 before I did this. Go ahead and shoot that padlock. And exit the mission. I might do level 2. But. Like I said level 2. Is a little chaotic. So I kind of felt like. Not comfortable. Making a video on that. This one I felt a lot more confident. As you can see. And if you want. I will actually right now. I will redo it. This time I'm going to do it slower. So if you want to stick around, this way you can kind of see how the NPCs move with a little bit more explanation. So again, immediately, there's no need to wait. See? See what I mean? Like, you can really take your time here. Go in, close the door, in case it doesn't close on its own. So this one, you can, like, really take your time. But again, he'll walk down this way. You will want to run over here. Let's say you took your time and it was too late. Well, those two NPCs that are already facing to the left, there's three in total, including the guard. Well, those two never move. So if you end up being here, just keep your hitman thing, you know, vision, I call it, the hitman vision, whatever it's called. That's the pattern that he does. It's just back and forth like that. There's absolutely nothing fancy to it. But I wanted to do it in slow-mo. See, now he's starting to walk away. You can very calmly 
very quietly make your way through. Again, this is to show you the pattern. I don't want you having to replay the video ten times. Watch me botch it now, but... Use your vision. Wait till he crosses that guy that's there. Run. You don't have to crouch. I like to crouch. See that woman? Now let's study this. Let's show you her entire route. This is what she does. So she walks around. She'll stand at that corner right there. The guy in the corner will be facing to the right. Now when that woman starts to walk, she's going to stand at that corner now. Now the other guy is going to move to the left. And that's going to be the whole like round, if, if you will. See, she can kind of almost see you here. So as she walks away, just walk away. Don't get too close to him. Okay. And that's, that's what happens there. Again, make sure you pull out the katana. If you accidentally bonk her in the head and take her out, it's just not going to work. Wait for her to turn around. Now, if you wait all day, I don't know what her other, you know, pattern is, but, uh... But, yeah. Anyways, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Greatly helps support the channel with the algorithm, making me more relevant in the search results if you didn't like the video. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll make sure when you come in this room, that ends up being you face down on the table. Because I invade your game and I come in through that window. Or preferably the one over there, because it's got less ice buildup on the window. And again, we want to... Uh, did I seriously just botch this right now? Did I did I pick up her gun? So that that is an interesting... Anyways, that's not the point, folks. Uh, <laughs> you saw how this plays out. That is actually really interesting. So that might actually be a way to glitch the mission. Because you cannot interact with this. Uh, you can't interact with this. So maybe don't throw it at her. Maybe just stab her. Oh, there. There's the gun. There we go. I was going to say, although weapons do disappear in this game, so I'm not crazy. That That's actually not too far off from the truth. Okay, so hopefully that kind of helps you out there. Anyways, if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.